Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and today's the day, the release of macOS Sonoma 14.0 to the public. And I know that you're wondering where Open Core Legacy Patcher is, and in this video, we're gonna go over a short overview of the status of Open Core Legacy Patcher and the release date schedule for 1.0.0, the major feature release. And I'm gonna go over some warnings that you wanna make sure that you watch out before you th even think about updating or upgrading to macOS Sonoma. So let's jump in and get started. Echo Sonoma is released on September 26th at 12 noon Central Daylight Time. And usually McCullough and the developers want to have day one support, but Sonoma had some significant hurdles to overcome. And there's a wonderful document that is written by Dina Kay and Cola that goes over all of the release planning and all the issues that are being worked on here in the GitHub release for Open Core Legacy Patcher and Sonoma support. They go over all that information here. But what was announced today was that Makola is saying that they were hoping for a October release, which is what Apple has done for the past three years, except for Big Sur, was, which was released in November. But Ventura and Monterey were released in October, so it gave, the, it gave the developers more time to work on the patcher. But with an early release in September, just a little bit after the iPhone event, it cut off some of the time that was needed by the developers to get this rolling. But what he did announce was Open Core Legacy Patcher, the major feature release. We finally hit 1.0.0 and it will be released on October 2nd. So only a week away for primary support for macOS Sonoma. So this is really exciting. And remember, 0.6.8 does not support macOS Sonoma yet. So don't think that you're gonna go out there and get the mainline update and then try to jump to macOS Sonoma and have it work. You're gonna have a bunch of problems. And we'll get into that a little bit more in the end part here where we talk about some of the warnings. So this is wonderful news. And you can bet that when 1.0.0 comes out next week, I'll be all over it and I'll show you a full walkthrough on how to upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma. This is a really exciting time. And the next information is, is that the support, remember if you've watched my original beta video for Sonoma and Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.6.9 beta, there was only support for metal. In the last two weeks, support was brought to non-metal machines. Now, again, it's still the early phases of support, but it's there. And this is really exciting because a lot of those 2011 and older Mac users felt like they were left out. But keep in mind, those are always in the mind of the developers to be able to support because there's some really great machines out there. You can see here that that's been crossed out. Non-metals, this is pre, will not be supported by this branch and it now is supported. And you can see these Macs in here now, 2008 to 2017, 2008 for Air, 2008 for MacBook Pro. So it's wonderful news. And again, that's primary beta support. So that's just great to be able to see that that's being worked on. Even some Hackintosh stuff for the Broadcom cards is being worked on for those users of Hackintoshes, which is wonderful to see. So, so far, again, if you really want to be able to try it, you still got to use the beta version of Open Core Legacy Patcher and the nightly build here in the latest version of nightly build if you wanted to just test it. Again, not until the public release is it recommended to try to install Sonoma on your main machine. So that's some of the warnings. So let's get into the, some of that warnings while we're at it. If we look here, at our 2015 15-inch MacBook Pro, we're running Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.6.8 and we've got software update available and we see this. Now this might look very enticing to upgrade to. Hey, all I need to do is click upgrade now and I'm on Sonoma. I'm running Open Core Legacy Patcher. Nope. Please don't do that. Until the major support of 1.0.0 is released, I wouldn't even test this on your main machine. If you got a test Mac, like I said, you can try that nightly version and give it a shot on the production version. But now the problem is, is the way Apple did this is they've expanded this. Normally you, there's a little button that says show more here, and then, then you can click on this. So you have to scroll all the way down here to the bottom past all these fixes and, and features to be able to even see other updates. If you wanted to let's say 13.7 comes out tomorrow 13.6.1 you got to come all the way down here and then click more info and then you'll see the mac os ventura update in here and that's why you see safari because safari is a standalone update where it's released as a security update today for 17.0 for mac os ventura and mac os monitor so you had to scroll all the way down here to get that now sonoma has that included but that's 
one thing that you're really going to have to keep an eye on in software update for macOS Monterey and for macOS Ventura and even macOS Big Sur. So now that that's out of the way, I hope that covers some of the questions that you have for macOS Sonoma and Open Core Legacy Patcher. Like I said, one week away, so just hold off a little bit for 1.0.1. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.